Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play some Europa Universalis 4 with our Commonwealth campaign. We are currently deciding if we should ally France and Spain. Could we get Portugal? No. Oh, but we could. Let's get some guys back, shall we? If we go after Sweden... We could declare war on Muscovy, call in Sweden. Well, we don't we don't have to call in Sweden because they will break. Bohemia are already at war with Muscovy because they're part allied with Novgorod, right? Which is fine, but it'll break the alliance with Sweden. We'll be fighting Sweden. The problem is if we do that, then they can't get them. All right, let's make sure I've got the three guys ready to be able to send alliance offers. To all three of these guys. How close are we? Oh, it's not even close. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're absolutely going to be on board. All we need is Portugal to, to, to zip this up to something that's not negative. Stop being neutral, my friend, and we'll we'll be on board. Get a little some better Diplo rep. Annex subject. When does, that, when does that go away? Is that soon? That'd be nice. Probably not. Annexed subjects looks like the dove, I think, unfortunately. It is. 1559. Oh my god, that is soon. That's like seven, eight, nine months from now. That makes a huge difference. Are you still going to be happy then? Let's just improve our relations. Let's just make sure all these relations are nice and high. No desire to go to war with Crimea, because that gets us into war with the Ottomans. Cardinal across the border. Lose money. Bohemia might hate us. Or gain a spy master. No, let's go for the Cardinal. Bohemia, do you hate us? No, you didn't even know. <laughs> Portugal, what do you think? Oh, okay, there it is. So all three of them are say yes. Who are you? Paris. Right. France is good. Novgorod. Buddy, I love you. We'll get back to that in a second. I'm a little busy. Let's keep France going. Spain is the one most closest to us. We're going to try and get all three at the same time. I know it's going to blast us over. We're going to lose Diplo points, blah, blah, blah. But if we can go after Sweden, I think it's worth it. Okay. France, you still on board? Spain, you still on board? Portugal. Portugal is rivaled with France. Spain is not. Hmm. France and Spain are more important than Portugal, so let's do that. All right, all three of them say yes. So we're now allied with the three largest naval powers in, well, aside from the Ottomans, the three largest naval powers in the world. We're a little bit over on our diplo, on our reputations. We're three aligned, three spots over. We could ditch, oh, we've already ditched Persia. No, we have Persia. We could ditch Persia if we need to. We could definitely ditch mines. We're going to bring them, we're going to declare war and, and, and not actually declare war. So let's declare, try and declare war on Muscovy. Would you guys come in? No, none of you would. For which reasons? Distant war and you're in debt. If I were to declare war on Sweden, which I can't do, I really would rather not dissolve the alliance myself. I'd rather go into war where they would not come in. Portugal has a ton of reasons. They were just in war, that's fine. France. France is almost close. All right. It's fine. It's not time yet. We'll wait. We'll wait a little bit. There's going to come a time when Sweden's going to say something or... Royal marriage? Yeah. We'll get into bed with Spain. 100%. We'll get into bed with France if she, if she asks, too. Portugal, I don't know. Yeah, France, absolutely. Come on. Come on in. These are good alliances. And Persia's a good alliance. The rest of my alliances are not good alliances. 
I can get out of them if I really need to. All right, so we've got France and Portugal, Spain. Let's uh, let's get our relationships improved here. I don't want to break royal ties, that's for sure. How about we improve relations? All right, we can get those going. France is good. Spain, Portugal, yes. Persia, we could probably keep going on. They're defensive, which is probably a wise idea. Continue that going. Oh, it's going to keep that diplomat free in case you want to declare war. Sweden up to. Sweden is allied with me. Burgundy, so France would love that. Utrecht and Muscovy. I don't really care about any of them. Novgorod just took another chunk out of Muscovy. My god, Novgorod is getting strong. That's that's the danger. If I if I cripple Sweden, then we've got a powerful Novgorod to deal with. I mean, that just might be the price of power. Meanwhile, we're tanking our points again. 738 is not ideal. Call from you. We'll go back to Novgorod. We won't be rivals forever. It might be just time to move on the Empire. Evangelical Union. Uh oh, Spaghetti. -o. Oh, shit. Okay, our buddies are on the Catholic side. Sweden's on the Protestant side. Pat Platinet. Brandenburg. What's with the little thing? Is that because they're an elector? Yeah, that's it, exactly. There's three Catholic electors. Two Protestant electors. Give it some time. Platinet really doesn't like me. We're going to have to join the Catholic League. I mean, we're going to have to. I'm not liking the looks of this at all. Let's uh, see who else shakes into this. The Ottomans are in the Protestant League. God. England, are you going to declare for the Catholics? Because that would help me make my decision a little bit. Novgorod, you should declare for the Catholics too. Oh no, England declared for the Protestants. I might want to stay out of the League War. These forces are not balanced right now. If the Catholics hope to win, I have to join the, the Catholic League. I mean, I have to. Bohemia, what are you? You're Catholic. Oh, God. I think I have to join the Catholic League. It's the only way to balance it. Can I, can I unjoin the Catholic League? I should have done it sooner. Because I'll bet anything, if I had joined sooner, some of these little guys would have joined my side. They would have seen the show of strength. I don't know that for certain, though. Well, we're going to be in the League War. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Novgorods have joined the Catholic League. That's a good sign. See, he's sensing Commonwealth Novgorod against Sweden. I'm liking it. Crimea. That's not a surprise. The Ottomans are on the Protestant League. Portugal. Has they have Portugal declared a side? Portugal, have you declared a side? No, Portugal's not in this yet. Portugal, buddy. You really should declare it for us. They have... Ooh, okay. Lose 50 Diplo power or lose 10 prestige. Um, I'm going to lose the prestige, honestly. I don't like it, but so be it. It's So, look. It's Sweden and the Ottomans and Muscovy against Novgorod, France. Who's there? Spain and I. So the Catholic League has the... Oh, and England's, I guess, in the Protestant League. We have it. Oh, no. You're going to make me select a third rival? Damn it. Scandinavia has formed. Oh, Christ. 
Do we have an alliance with them built in? We do. They're going to make me pick a rival. It's not going to be Austria or Bohemia. Sorry, buddy. We're not rivals. You shouldn't join the other side of the league. We could have been friends if you hadn't done that. And then you're going to form the Empire of Scandinavia, too? How rude. I don't like the fact that Bohemia is leading that war. They are the Emperor, I suppose. Almost ready for more papal stuff. Oh, I've got, I could be Defender of the Faith. What are we going to build? Ships? I'd like to build more ships. We can build more ships. Very good. Caravels it is. That is fast as hell. We've got a shipyard, huh? That shipyard is sexy. Can I build shipyards here? No, not until we get up to 20. Do you have a shipyard? We've got a castle, a dock, a temple, and a marketplace. If I didn't want to use points, I'd build you guys up so I could put more buildings in there. Shipyards are hot. You've got a shipyard down here, too. You should keep that in mind. This conversion's going better than I expected it to, honestly. Can we convert Berlin yet? It's damn reformed. I wonder how long it ticks down. Scandinavia broke their alliance with us. Good, so we didn't have to do it, actually. 62. Just two more years. And we can finally convert these guys back. To the proper Catholicism, because we're not going reformed. No way. Not at this point. Religious unity is too important. Well, we're gearing up for war, obviously. Look at all the people building boats. We need some galleys. Galleys, galleys, galleys. We need some war galleys. 0.04 a month. 167 days. That's impressive. Build me a war galley down there. We'll queue him up. Thirteen war galleys? Make it fourteen. Oh, I clicked on the wrong button. Make it fourteen. Fourteen war galleys. We're building up the fleet. I gotta take more of Crimea so I can get more force limit. Taking that from Scandinavia would be nice too. All right, so France and Spain are going to love us forever now. We're allied to a rival. Who's rival? Oh, Portugal, right. I knew that. But Spain. Spain. We're on board with Spain now. Portugal is... This is going to be the most tenuous of the relationships. Von Oldenburg. All right. Royal marriage with Por Portugal. I mean, I'm going to want... All th Ooh, that's, that's not what I meant. I meant to do this. Um, these three in the west, the Persians in the south, Novgorod in the north. Could you imagine that? Gain influence. This is some sort of Bible. Gain influence. And re religion in places goes to reformed. Oh, screw that. Oh, what? What? So three places change to reform. Which may or may not have religious zeal. Hopefully not. Or I get unrest in those three places. And Lublin still goes to reform. Ugh. I really don't want to convert to reform. Where are these places? Kelno, Lublin, and Wisna. Kelno's up here. It's Kelno. They're all over the place. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't need the papal influence. I don't know if I care about unrest. What's national unrest right now? Negative four. So honestly, it's not that problem. It's for five years. All right. Let's convert Lublin. No, no reform for you. Apparently I have three missionaries. Good Lord. That's a lot of missionaries. Building boats. Boats, boats, boats. Scandinavia has canceled military access. Those jerks. No guy has declared on Muscovy. Muscovy is on the outs.
I'm going to maintain with Portugal because they are the ones I need the most. Alright, the two of you guys are going to come out and join our trade fleet. Uh, what? Lubick. That's actually not worth it. Crimea would be probably worth it. Our trade value in that note is 3.75 now all of a sudden. I don't get it, man. There's still no money there, so it doesn't matter what the power is. We have 5% of that node now. That's brutal. Uh, we can recall with France. Well, what does it matter? I mean... We come Defender of the Faith. Alright, it's time to build things. Um, that's not going to change. That's queued up as far as I want it to go. 41 boats, apparently. Should be one more. Religion's going well. Autonomy. We could probably decrease autonomy in both those places, but... Eh. It's tempting, actually. And that's why you don't look at that map mode. We could culture convert these guys, but that costs points. Uh, do we have all the money we could possibly get? Oh, there's a 13. I can't... Can I build it while we're... Apparently yes. Apparently no. Apparently no. All these are 10s. Well, 10's better than nothing, right? There we go. There's my galleys. I didn't catch the trade fleet in that, did I? Not good. Come on up here, guys. You should be able to make it. I got galleys. And really, that's not that's not too much of a problem at all. That's not what I meant. That's also not what I meant. Border tension, splendid. Livland, Scandinavia. Oh, that's actually really good. It's costing me an extra ducat a month to be eight over. Sardinia has religious feelings. First off, Sardinia exists. I thought it's an Italian place. Oh, it is. It's on the island. It's crazy. Where are my boats going right now? There's a shipyard here, right? Castle, temple, no. It's a shipyard here. Shipyards in Mamel. Shipyards in Mamel. Off to Mamel we go. Um, I mean, it's only an extra ducat. So basically, it's a, it's a quarter of a ducat a month per boat. And if we mothball it, it's a quarter of that. So it's a sixteenth of a ducat a month per boat. That's pretty good. We're going to have significant numbers to make this work, though. The army should benefit. How long is this? For ten years. Okay. So what we're doing is we're getting a choice here for tech. What is most behind Diplo? It's only 10% behind, but it's only level 10. The army's definitely not going to benefit, sorry, because you're already ahead of time. Admin is tempting because it gets us closer to the next level. Um, or Diplo tech costs. I think we're most likely to take admin. Eh, it's, eh, government. I mean, it's admin. Admin's, I think, the best. So there we go. We're still behind time in admin tech. It's unbelievable. You can build buildings. I, I believe I've been doing that. You really shouldn't have to bug me about that. It's my trade fleet. The Council of Trent. Um, yeah, we'll attend. That's fine. We're not going reform, though. We're staying Catholic. Can I convert Ber Berlin yet? No. Because it's the one, right? Yeah. 662. In June, we can convert them back. I'm going to play just that long so I remember. 
Hey! Extra missionary strength. Very nice. Protect our brethren in Narva. Where is Narva? Narva. Scandinavia. We get another claim on Scandinavia. Oh, that's so tempting. What do we get if we do this? Monthly autonomy change. There. So in one place. Hmm. We're never going to do the manpower reserve, let's be honest. We'll get more claims. I'm assuming we get a claim when we do that. Yeah, okay, good. So, boys, just hypothetically speaking, while we wait for June to roll around and me to be able to convert Berlin, if I were to declare war, Persia says no. It's too far away. Spain says absolutely. Portugal says uh-uh. They still have war exhaustion. And they're defensive. That was a horrible alliance. Mines says no, so that's how we break our alliance with mines. Bohemia says no, because they have a truce, which is fine. France says yes. That's all we really need. Muscovy won't come to defend them, but Utrecht and Burgundy will. Well, France will have its way with Burgundy, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I think at the next next episode, we're going to declare that war. I want a little more time to think about it. I know how dramatic it is when I click the button at the end of an episode, but I just I want to think about this one. I'm not entirely certain it's time for Scandinavia. If I could get Novgorod on our side, or at least interested in fighting a war at the same time, that would certainly help. Um, but they have a truth for another 12 years, so we, we just missed it, basically. So this might be a good time, because they may be weaker. Uh, if you check, check the ledger... Uh, let's go up to the top, shall we? Obviously, we're the strongest force in the world. Then the Ottomans. France is third, and they're our allies. Bohemia won't do it because they were in a truce. Bachmanis. Look at Bachmanis. Wow. Novgorod is kind of ignored. Persia. Scandinavia is, de is depleted. They're basically Spain. Oh, man. Let's talk navies. Venice, obviously, and the Ottomans, sure. Spain... Then Scandinavia and the Commonwealth. We actually are equal to the Commonwealth right now. Or we are the Commonwealth. We're equal to Scandinavia in terms of boats. They have five heavies, though. So if we had 20 galleys, then we'd be better off. But we don't. We have nine of them. So we just need to build more galleys. I've got money. Let's build some galleys, and then we'll call it a day. We're still, we're still building galleys. Well, we got to build more. Another four galleys. Takes me up to 45 boats. So, I mean, you can see what I'm talking about when, I, when you look at this. Um, so, when you look at the, the galleys, right, a Carrick has 50 cannons, 25 hull size, and we don't have any of them. But it's 50 cannons and 25 hull size. So, it costs 50 ducats. For five war galleys, we can have 75 cannons and 50 points worth of hull size. So, for the same cost, it's better, but you need five times the war galleys. So, in order to compete with his five Garricks, we need 25 war galleys. But it's better bang for the buck. I'm sorry, I don't mean you need five. I'm saying you get the five. To compete, you need three, essentially. It's better to have four. But you need three war galleys for every one, so we need to get up to 15. So, when we have all these, we'll have enough war galleys to contest with his heavies. Put in our trade fleet along with it, and, and you're golden. And it looks like he's got transports as part of that as well, doesn't he? He has 22 transports. So that's going to make a huge difference. We don't have any. Our naval fleet will be superior. We'll have naval superiority. Scandinavia is going to have some problems. It's going to be a beautiful time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.